Blessed is our God, always, now, and ever, to the ages of ages. Amen. <clears throat> glory to you, O God, our hope. Glory to you, heavenly King Comforter, the Spirit of truth, you who are present in all places and filling all things, treasury of blessings and giver of life. Come, dwell in us, cleanse us of every impurity, and save our souls, O good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and forever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. All Holy Trinity, have mercy on us. Lord, forgive our sins. Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for your name's sake. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. And for an ally, Lord, may they have you, peace as their armor, the trophy invincible, both now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. O awesome and unshameable protection, O good and praiseworthy Theotokos, do not despise our petitions. Make firm the community of the Orthodox. Save those whom you have called to rule. Grant them victory from heaven. For you gave birth to God and are truly blessed. Have mercy on us, O God. According to your great mercy, we pray to you. Hear us and have mercy. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for pious and orthodox Christians. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Again, we pray for Archbishop Isaiah and for all our brotherhood in Christ. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. For you are a merciful God who loves mankind, and to you we send up glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and to the ages of ages. Amen. In the name of the Lord, Father, bless. Glory to the holy consubstantial life, giving an undivided trinity always, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. <coughs> Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill among men. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill among men. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill among men. O Lord, you shall open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. O Lord, you shall open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. O Lord, why do those who afflict me multiply? Many are those who rise up against me. Many are those who say to my soul, there is no salvation for him and his God. But to you, O Lord, are my protector, my glory, and the one who lifts up my head. I cried to the Lord with my voice, and he heard me from his holy hill. I lay down and slept. I awoke, for the Lord will help me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people who set themselves against me all around. Arise, O Lord, and save me, O my God, for you struck all those who were foolishly at enmity, enmity with me. You broke the teeth of sinners. Salvation is of the Lord, and your blessing is upon your people. I lay down and slept. I awoke, for the Lord will help me. O Lord, do not rebuke me in your wrath, nor chasten me in your anger, for your arrows are fixed in me and your hand rests on me. There is no healing in my flesh because of your wrath. There is no peace in my bones because of my sins. For my transgressions rise up over my head. Like a heavy burden, they are heavy on me. My wounds grow foul and fester because of my folly. I suffer misery and I am utterly bowed down. I go all the day long with a sad face. For my loins are filled with mockeries and there is no healing in my flesh. I am afflicted and greatly humbled. 
I roar because of the groaning of my heart. O Lord, all my desires before you, and my groaning is not hidden from you. My heart is troubled, my strength fails me, and the light of my eyes, even this, is not with me. My friends and neighbors draw near and stand against me, and my near of kin stand far off. And those who seek my soul use violence, and those who seek evil for me speak folly, and they meditate on deceit all the day long. But I, like a deaf man, do not hear, and I am like a mute who does not open his mouth. I am like a man who does not hear and who has no reproofs in his mouth. For in you, O Lord, I hope you will hear, O Lord my God. For I said, let not my enemies rejoice over me, for when my foot was shaken, they boasted against me. For I am ready for wounds, and my pain is continually with me. For I will declare my transgression, and I will be anxious about my sin. But my enemies live and are become stronger than I. And those who hate me unjustly are multiplied. Those who repaid me evil for good slandered me because I pursue righteousness. And they threw away my love as though it were a stinking corpse. Do not forsake me, O Lord, O my God. Do not depart from me. Give heed to help me, O Lord of my salvation. Do not forsake me, O Lord, O my God. Do not depart from me. Give heed to help me, O Lord of my salvation. O God, my God, I rise early to be with you. My soul thirsts for you. How often my flesh thirsts for you in a desolate, impassable, and waterless land. So in the holy place I appear before you to see your power and your glory. Because your mercy is better than life, my lips shall praise you. Thus I will bless you in my life. I will lift up my hands in your name. May my soul be filled as with marrow and fatness, and my mouth shall sing praise to you with lips filled with rejoicing. If I remembered you on my bed, I meditated on you at daybreak. For you are my helper, and in the shelter of your wings I will greatly rejoice. My soul follows close behind you. Your right hand ha takes hold of me. But they seek for my soul in vain. They shall go into the lowest parts of the earth. They shall be given over to the edge of the sword. They shall be a portion for foxes. But the king shall be glad in God, and all who swear by him shall be praised. For the mouth that speaks unrighteous things is stopped. I meditated on you at daybreak, for you are my helper. And in the shelter of your wings I will greatly rejoice. My soul follows close behind you. Your right hand takes hold of me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. O Lord, God of my salvation, I cry day and night before you. Let my prayer come before you. Incline your ear to my supplication, O Lord. For my soul is filled with sorrows, and my soul draws near to Hades. I am counted among those who go down into the pit. I am like a helpless man, free among the dead, like slain men thrown down and sleeping in a grave, whom you remember no more, but they are removed from your hand. They laid me in the lowest pit in dark places and in the shadow of death. Your wrath rested upon me, and you brought all your billows over me. You removed my acquaintances far from me, and they, and they made me an abomination among themselves. I was betrayed, and I did not go forth. My eyes weakened from poverty. O Lord, I cry to you the whole day long. I spread out my hands to you. Will you work wonders for the dead, or will physicians raise them up and acknowledge you? Shall anyone in the grave describe your mercy and your truth and destruction? Shall your wonders be known in darkness and your righteousness in a forgotten land? But I cry to you, O Lord, in the morning my prayer shall come near to you. Why, O Lord, do you reject my soul and turn away your face from me? I am poor and in troubles from my youth, but having been exalted, I was humbled and brought into despair. Your fierce anger passed over me, and your terrors greatly troubled me. They compassed me like water all the day long. They surrounded me at once. You removed far from me, neighbor and friend, and my acquaintances because of my misery. O Lord God of my salvation, I cry day and night before you. Let my prayer come before you. Incline your ear to my supplication, O Lord. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and everything within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his rewards, who is merciful to all your transgressions, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from corruption, who crowns you with mercy and compassion, who satisfies your desire with good things, and your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord shows mercies and judgment to all all who were wronged, he made known his ways to Moses, the things he willed to the sons of Israel. The Lord is compassionate and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in mercy. He will not become angry to the ends, nor will he be wrathful forever. He did not deal with us according to our sins, nor reward us according to our transgressions. For according to the height of heaven from earth, so the Lord reigns in mercy over those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so he removes our transgressions from us. As a father has compassion on our children, on his children, so the Lord has compassion on those who 
who fear him, for he knows how he formed us. He remembers we are dust. As for man, his days are like grass as a flower of the field. So he flourishes, for the wind passes through it, and it shall not remain. It shall no longer know its place. But the mercy of the Lord is from age to age upon those who fear him, and his righteousness upon children's children, to such as keep his covenant and remember his commandments to do them. The Lord prepared his throne in heaven, and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, all you his angels, mighty in strength to do his word, so as to hear the vo voice of his words. Bless the Lord, all you his host, his ministers who do his will. Bless the Lord, all his works and all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O my soul. O Lord, hear my prayer. Give ear to my supplication in your truth. Answer me in your righteousness. Do not enter into judgment with your servant, for no one living shall become righteous in your sight. For the enemy persecuted my soul. He humbled my life to the ground. He caused me to dwell in dark places as one long dead, and my spirit was in anguish within me. My heart was troubled within me. I remembered the days of old, and I meditated on all your works. I meditated on the works of your hands. I spread out my hands to you. My soul thirsts for you like a waterless land. Hear me speedily, O Lord. My spirit faints within me. Turn not your face from me, lest I become like those who go down into the pit. Cause me to hear your mercy in the morning, for I hope in you. Make me know, O Lord, the way wherein I should walk. For I lift up my soul to you. Deliver me from my enemies, O Lord, for to you I flee for refuge. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. Your good spirit shall guide me in the land of uprightness. For your name's sake, O Lord, give me life. In your righteousness you shall bring my soul out of affliction. In your mercy you shall destroy my enemies. You shall utterly destroy all those who afflict my soul, for I am your servant. Answer me in your righteousness. O Lord, do not enter into judgment with your servant. Answer me in your righteousness, O Lord, do not enter into judgment with your servant. Your good spirit shall guide me in the land of uprightness. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, both now and ever to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to you, O God. Our hope, O oh Lord, glory to you. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the peace in the whole world, for the stability of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For this holy house and for those who enter with faith, Reverence in the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For pious and orthodox Christians, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For Archbishop Isaiah, the Honorable Presbyters, the Diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the laity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the President of our country, for all those in civil authority, and for our armed forces on land, at sea, and in the air, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For the great and holy Church of Christ, for this holy metropolis, for every city, for this city and parish, for every city and land, and for the faithful who dwell in them, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For favorable weather and abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For travelers by land, sea, and air, for the sick, the suffering, for captives and their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all tribulation, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy upon us, and protect us, O God, by your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our holy, pure, most blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever-Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commit ourselves and one another and all our life to Christ our God. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Theos Kyrios ke prefan enimi, evloimenos o ergomenos enonomati Give thanks to the Lord and call upon his holy name. 
God is the Lord and he revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. And this came about from the Lord, and it is wonderful in our eyes. God is the Lord, and he revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. You destroyed your death by your cross. You opened paradise to the robber. You turned the murmuring women's lament into joy. And you commanded your apostles to preach that you rose. O Christ God, grant in the world the great mercy. Kiri <laughs> Ότι σον το κράτος και σου έστειν η βασιλεία και η δύναμις και η δόξα του πατρός και του Ιού και του Αγίου Πνεύματος νυν και αΐ και εις τους αιώνας των αιώνων. Αμήν, η ζωή εν το τάφο ανεκητώ κι ας φραγείς δεν το λύθω ο δε πέκητώ ως βασιλεία υπνούτα στρατιώτε εφύλα των Χριστών και άγγελοι εδόξασον ως Θεών αθάνατον γυναίκες δε εκράγαζον ανέστη ο Κύριος παρέχον το κόσμο το Μέγα And when you rose, you resurrected it, O Christ God, as the benevolent Savior. Glory to you. Kemlin ke ai ke Jesus e ona sto ne ono na min. To stavro the na i perimon ke ana stan la Christos to ne on ke kathelon na ta na na to kratos. 
παπαπτώση και τεβέ, Θεό το και παρθένε, ή να σώσει τα συγχάσιμον. The tomb being sealed, you rose from the sepulchre, O Christ God the life, and the doors being shut, you came to the disciples, O resurrection of all. Through them you renew our right spirit within us, according to your great mercy. Με τα δακρύων ηραφέρουσε και στρατιώτων δειλασσόντων σε τον των ολών βασιλεύαν έλεγον προς εαυτάς της αποκυλής τη μην το λύθον ανέστη ο μεγάλης βουλής αγγέλος πατήσας των θάνατων πάνω δύναμε, Κύριε, δόξασή. Both now and ever and to the ages of ages, amen. Rejoice, maiden full of grace, O virgin Theotokos. You are the haven and protection of the human race. From you, the Redeemer of the world, became incarnate. And only you are both a mother and a virgin. O Lady ever blessed and glorified, we pray you intercede with Christ God to grant peace to the whole world. Mm -hmm. Κύριε, διδαξόν με τα δικαιώματά σου τον αγγέλων ο Δήμος κατ' επλάει ορών σε ένε κρίστο ειστένα του θανάτου δε σωτήρ την ιστή καθελώνα και συνε αυτόν τον Αδάμε γύραντα και εξάντου πάντα σε ελευθερώσαντα. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Why do you mingle the ointments with your tears full of pity, O women disciples? Thus the angel who was shining in the tomb cried to the myrrh-bearing women, See for yourselves the empty tomb and understand that the Savior has risen from the sepulchre. <speaking in Hebrew> Λία πρωί μυροφόρη έδραμον προς το μήμα σου θρηνολογούσε Αν επέστη προς αυτάς ο άγγελος και είπε Θρηνό καιρός πέπ' αυτέ μην κλαίτε Την Ανάσταση δε αποστολής είπατε Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. When the murmuring women had come with their spices to your sepulcher, O Savior, they heard the voice of an angel clearly speaking to them. Why do you account among the dead the one who lives? For as God, he has risen from the sepulchre. Λόξα Πατρί και Υιό και Αγίο Πνεύματι προσκυνούμεν Πατέρα και το τούτο Υιόνε και το Αγίο Πνεύμα την Αγία Αντριάδα εν μια διουσία 
ורצים בסרפים, גרזון דסטוא, איוס, 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 איקירי. of sorrow he who from you became incarnate God and man has directed to life him who fell from it hallelujah 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 glory to you O God hallelujah O Christ God, who took our form and bodily endured the cross, save me by your resurrection, O benevolent Lord. No. In the south, those who sow afflictions with tears and with fasting will reap the sheaves of joy, the staff of life everlasting. Unless the Lord builds the house of the soul, we labor in vain, for with Without him no action or word is accomplished. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever into the ages of ages, Amen. In the Holy Spirit, the universe has its existence. For He is God before all, universal Lordship, unapproachable light, and the life of all. <laughs> As you see your offspring like olive trees around your table, rejoice and be glad, chief shepherd, as you bring them to Christ. Arise, O Lord my God, let your hand be lifted high, and do not forget your poor to the end. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with my whole heart. Arise, O Lord my God. 
God, let your hand be lifted high, and do not forget your power to the end. No longer will the power of death be able to detain <coughs> human beings, for Christ went down and crushed it and destroyed all its forces. Hades is shackled, and the prophets in unison rejoice and proclaim, The Savior has come to those in darkness. Come out, believers, to the resurrection. To the resurrection. The netherworld below was trembling today, Hades and death before one of the Trinity. Earth shook, and when they saw you, the doorkeepers of Hades quaked. Now all creation, along with the prophets, rejoices and sings you an ode of triumph, O God, our Redeemer, who now destroyed the force of death. And let us shout aloud to Adam and his descendants, a tree brought him in. Come out, believers, to the resurrection. To the resurrection. On July 30th, we commemorate the holy apostles among the 70 Silas, Sylvan, Crescens, Epenetus, and Andronicus. On this day, we also commemorate the holy martyr Juliet of Caesarea. By their holy intercessions, O oh God, have mercy on us. Amen. When Israel's choir crossed the Red Sea, passing through the watery deep on feet that did not get wet, and we held us till riders of the three men chariot submerged beneath the deep sea. They took up an undauntedly. Let us sing to our God, for He has been glorified. Weakened is the bow of mighty men, and the weak have girded themselves with strength from our righteous God. For this reason it is is written is in my heart established in the Lord. I have heard about your glorious divine economy, O Christ my God, that you were born from the virgin maiden, so as to free from error those who cry to you. Glory to your power, O Lord my God. You separated the light from the primordial chaos, so that with light your works might extol you, O Christ, as the Creator. Therefore we pray that in your light you direct our paths. When I was afflicted, I cried out to my Lord and God, God of my salvation, and he hearkened to my voice and prayer. Upon the furnace's flame trampled the three descendants of Abraham of old in Babylon. In him they cried out to you, O Lord and God of our fathers, you are blessed. We praise and we bless and we worship the Lord. <laughs> Once in Babylon the children front fire with divine zeal and longing, courageously defying the threat of both the tyrant and the flame, were thrown in the midst of the fire. But as they were refreshed with dew, they were chanting, Oh, all you works of the Lord, praise and bless the Lord. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. To the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever 
and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Let everything that breathes we may be found worthy to hear the holy gospel let us entreat the lord our god lord have mercy lord have mercy lord have mercy wisdom arise let us hear the holy gospel peace be with all the reading is from the holy gospel according to john let us be attentive At that time, Mary stood weeping outside the tomb, and as she wept, she stooped to look into the tomb, and she saw two angels in white sitting where the body of Jesus had lain, one at the head and one at the feet. They said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? She said to them, Because they have taken away my Lord, and I do not know where they have laid him. Saying this, she turned around and saw Jesus standing, but she did not know that it was Jesus. Jesus said to her, Woman, why are you weeping? Whom do you seek? Supposing him to be the gardener, she said to him, Sir, if you have carried him away, tell me where you have laid him, and I will take him away. Jesus said to her, Mary, she turned and said to him in Hebrew, Rabboni, which means teacher. Jesus said to her, do not hold me, for I have not yet ascended to the Father, but go to my brethren and say to them, I am ascending to my Father and your Father, to my God and your God. Mary Magdalene went and said to the disciples, I have seen the Lord. And she told them, that he had said these things to her. her. Glory to you, O Lord. Glory to you. Having beheld the resurrection of Christ, let us worship the Holy Lord Jesus, the only sinless one. Your cross, O Christ, we venerate, and your holy resurrection we praise and glorify. For you are our God. Apart from you we know no other. We call upon your name. Come, all faithful, let us venerate the holy resurrection of Christ. For behold, through the cross, joy has come to the whole world. Ever blessing the Lord, let us praise his resurrection. For having endured the cross for us, he destroyed death by death. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your great mercy, and according to the abundance of your compassion, blot out my transgression. Wash me thoroughly from my lawlessness, and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my lawlessness, and my sin is always before me. Against you only have I sinned, and I an evil in your sight, that you may be justified in your words, and overcome when you are judged. For behold, I was conceived in transgressions, and in sins my mother bore me. Behold, you love truth, you showed me the unknown and secret things of your wisdom. You shall sprinkle me with hyssop and I will be cleansed. You shall wash me and I will be made whiter than snow. Turn your face from my sins and blot out all my transgressions. Create in me a clean heart of God and renew a right spirit within me. Do not cast me away from your presence and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me 
the joy of your salvation and uphold me with your guiding spirit. I will teach transgressors your ways and the ungodly shall turn back to you. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall greatly rejoice in your righteousness. Oh Lord, you shall open my lips, and my mouth will declare your praise. For if you desire sacrifice, I will give it. You will not be pleased with all burnt offerings. A sacrifice to God is a broken spirit, a broken and humble heart. God will despise. Do good, O oh Lord, in your good pleasure to Zion, and let the walls of Jerusalem be built. Then you will be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with offerings and open offerings. Then shall they offer young bulls on your altar, and have mercy on me, O oh God. Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit at the intercession of the apostles, O Lord of mercy, blood on my many offenses. Both now and ever and to the ages of ages, amen. At the intercession of the Theotokos, O Lord of mercy, blot out my many offenses. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your great mercy, and according to the abundance of your compassion, blot out my transgression. Jesus, having risen from the grave as he foretold, has granted us eternal life and great mercy. O oh God, save your people and bless your inheritance. Look upon your world with mercy and compassion. Raise the Orthodox Christians in glory and send down upon us your rich mercies through the intercessions of our most pure lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, the power of the precious and life giving cross, the protection of the honorable heavenly bodiless powers, the supplications of the honorable glorious prophet and forerunner John the Baptist, the holy glorious and praise for the apostles, our fathers among the saints, great hierarchs and ecumenical teachers, Basil the Great, Gregory the Theologian, and John Chrysostom, Athanasius, Cyril, and John the Merciful Patriarchs of Alexandria, Nicholas, Bishop of Beda, Speedy Don, Bishop of Trimithus, Nick Darius, the Metabolista, Wonder Workers, the Holy Glorious, Great Martyrs, George, the Victorious, Demetrius, the Middle of Late, Theodore, Tiron, Theodore, Stratilatos, Minas, the Wonder Worker, Carolambos, and Lefterios, the Hyrule Martyrs, the Holy Glorious, the Victorious Martyrs, the Glorious, Great Martyr, and all laudable Ephemia, the Holy and Glorious Martyrs, Thecla, Barbanastasia, Catherine, Kinia, Key, Fotini, Marina, Paraskevi, and Irene, our Venerable and God bearing Fathers, the Holy and Righteous Ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all your saints, we beseech you, only most merciful Lord, listen. Hear us, sinners, who pray to you and have mercy on us. Oh, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. the mercy, compassion, and love of mankind, of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed together, with your all holy good and life-giving Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. 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 Megalini psigimodon kirion, ke igalian se tot nematot mu, epitot veotos otirimo, 
Στην τιμή ο τέρα των γεροβήμ και εν δόξο τέρα να συγκρίτως τον Σεραφήμ την άδεια φθόρος θεολόγων εκτούσαν την όντως θεοτόκον σε μεγαλύνομαι. For he has regarded the lowly state of his maidservant For behold, henceforth all generations will call me blessed, greater in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to God the Word, and are truly the He has shown strength with his arm, he has scattered the proud in the imagination of their hearts. Greater in honor than the cherubim, and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to God the word, and are truly the He has helped his servant Israel in remembrance of his mercy as he spoke to our fathers, to Abraham and his seed forever. Greater in honor than the cherubim and in glory greater beyond compare than the seraphim. You without corruption gave birth to God the word and are truly theotokos. You do we magnify. Childbirth occurred without corruption for God it was wearing flesh who came forth from your virgin womb. For he appeared on earth and made his dwelling among men. And therefore you, O Theotokos, we are magnified. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, in your grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, most blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. With all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and all our life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For all the powers of heaven praise you and to you they send up glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Aeos Kyrios O Theos Holy is the Lord our God. 
exalt the Lord our God and worship at the footstool of his feet. For he is holy. The angelus bleps asa and the thentulmi Maria exepliteto que Cristo magno usa os que por orem pirota que ria tuto soma tu isso motelicas Cristo o tono usa e na to Sotiria it was a mimuatu, Roston Potter on Apimni, a petis other fees move. O maiden, you in a family gave birth to one to one person of the While one in his hypostasy, therefore entreat him always for those of us who faithfully honor you to deliver us from the foes. Every plot against us, your loyal people. Who for protection run to you, O Lady Theotokos? Praise him, you heaven of heavens, and you waters above the heavens. Let them praise the Lord's name. O ti avto zipe ke engedi visan, avto zemeli delto ke ekdi visan. He established them forever and unto ages of ages. He set forth his ordinance and it shall not pass away. Fire and hail 
snow and ice, stormy wind, which perform his word. The Ori Kekan, the Sivuni, Sila Karotho, Roga Kapasek Nendri. Wild animals and all cattle, creeping things and flying birds. Vasilis, this is a panos de lai, Archon de Skepan de Skritegi. Young men and maidens, elders with younger, let them praise the Lord's name, for his name alone is exalted. The exomologist is of two epigis, the oranol, the ipsos, the a hymn for all his saints, for the children of Israel, a people who draw near to him. Asatel to Kirio, as Makenoni, and Nisis of to an ecclesia osio. Let Israel be glad in him who made him, and let the children of Zion greatly rejoice in their king. And he sat to sat on a mother and the pano gets a tear For the Lord is pleased with his people and he shall exalt the gentle with salvation. Ke agali azonde epiton kiton afton. The high praise of God shall be in their mouth and a two-edged sword in their hand. Tu pi se egviki sine naftes getzim eleg musentin lai. To shackle their kings with chains and their nobles with fetters of iron. To be sent up this egrapton, logs is up to stay. Step as it is a sea's after a nasty Christos and a crown, Lisa Sanatu at the spa, Evangelizu Nicara Megali, and eat a Urani de Ondindoxa. Praise God in his saints, praise him with him. In the firmament of his power, having beheld the resurrection of Christ, let us worship the Holy Lord Jesus, the only sinless one. And it is after the pitest in a state of two, and it is after. Κατά το πλήθος της μεγάλο σύνης αυτού. Χριστού την Ανάστασήν προσκυνούνται σου πάνω μεθά. Αυτός χάρη μας έσωσεν εκ των ανομιών ημιών. Άγιος Κύριος Ιησούς το δείξαν τη Ανάστασήν. Praise him with the sound of trumpet, praise him with the harp and lyre. What shall we give back to the Lord for all he rendered to us? For us God lived among men, for human nature that was damaged. The Logos became flesh and dwelt among us. To the ungrateful he is the benefactor, to the captives the liberator, to those who sat in darkness the son of righteousness. He who is dispassionate suffered on the cross, he who is the light shown in Hades, he who is the life trapped 
upon on death for the fallen he is the resurrection let us cry aloud to him glory to you our god and Praise him with resounding cymbals, praise him with triumphant cymbals, let everything that breathes praise the Lord. Come, let us rejoice in the Lord, and let us celebrate his resurrection. For him himself he raised the dead from the inescapable dungeon of, of Hades. And as God he has given to the world the everlasting life and the great mercy. Ανάστη κύριο Θεό μου, υψωθεί το ηχηρό. Μη επιλάθη των πενήτων σου ει τέλο. Εξαστραπτο άγγελο εντολίθο εκαθήτω του ζωοδοκουνήματο. Και γυναίξη μυροφόρης ευηγελίζε το δέγον. Ανέστη ο Κύριος καθώς προείπεν ημίν, απαγγελία έτης μαθητές αυτού, ότι προάγγει μας εις την Γαβιλέα. Το δες κοσμός ο δρέχης ο ίνιν ονιών και το μεγα έλεος. I will give thanks to you, O Lord, with my whole heart. I will tell of all your wondrous things. Why did you reject the cornerstone, O rebellious Jews? He is the stone that God placed in Zion. He made the water gush from the rock in the desert. And for us he pours out immortality from his side. He is the stone that was cut out from the mountain, namely the virgin without the will of a man. For he, he is the Son of Man, coming with the clouds of heaven to the Ancient of Days. As Daniel has said, and he eternal is his kingdom.
Father, Amen. Every day will I bless you, and I will praise your name forever, and unto the ages of ages. Much safe, O Lord, to keep us this day without sin. Blessed are you, O Lord, the God of our fathers, and praised and glorified is your name unto the ages. Amen. Let your mercy, O Lord, be upon us, even as we have hoped in you. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Blessed are you, O Lord, teach me your statutes. Lord, you from generation to generation. I said, O oh Lord, have mercy on me. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. O oh Lord, do you have I fled for refuge? Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. In you is the fountain of in your light we shall see light. Continue your mercy unto those who know you. Aios o Theos, Aios Iskiros, Aios Athanatos eleison imam. Holy God, holy mighty, Have mercy on us. Holy God, holy, mighty, holy, immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Both now and ever, and unto the ages of ages, amen. Blessed is the kingdom of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace from above and for the salvation of our souls, let us pray to the Lord. 
for the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the holy churches of God, and for the union of all, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy temple, for those who entered with faith, reverence, and the fear of God, let us pray to the Lord. Archbishop Isaiah, for the venerable priesthood of the diaconate in Christ, for all the clergy and the laity, let us pray to the Lord. For the president of our country, for those in civil authority, for our armed forces, and for all the American nation, let us pray to the Lord. For this city, for every city and country, and for the faithful who dwell therein, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For seasonable weather, for the abundance of the fruits of the earth, and for peaceful times, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those at sea, those who travel by land or air, for the sick, the suffering, for captives and for their salvation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For our deliverance from all affliction, wrath, danger, and necessity, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Commemorating our most holy, pure, most blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another <coughs> and all our life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. For to you belong all glory, honor, and worship to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Evloim sikimodon gerion, ke panadain tos moto anomato aion ato, tes presviestis neototus, so der so sonima. Sessions of the Theotokos, Savior, save us. Kyrios and Dura notima se to throne on aftu, ke vasili aftu pandon disposi. Tes presvies dis Theotokos, o tes o sonima. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Oh, now and ever and to the ages of ages, amen. Through the intercessions of the Theotokos, Savior, save us. Etike tini rini tukiru de thome. Until the voice of the Lord, and the dear Philip Sanimas, O Theos, to see charity. Kyrie eleison. Tis panagia sacran to a pair of logimenis, and dogs of Espinissimon, Theotoko keepeth in a Marias, met the panton ton a yeom and a man of sentes, yav tus kelilus, ke pason tinzo inimon, Christo to Theo parthomata. O ti sondo kratos, ke su estini vasilia, ke dinemis, ke doxa, tu patros, ke tu iu, ke tu aiu, prematos, nin ke aii, ke istus eonas ton eonon. Amin. Praise the Lord, O my soul. I shall praise the Lord while I live. I shall sing to my God as long as I exist. So only mercy and fail, O Anastasia, Necron, Salonasia, Alleluia. Blessed is he whose help is the God of Jacob, his hope.
help is in the Lord his God. Save us, O Son of God, risen from the dead. We sing to you, Alleluia. As he lives, he kyrios is to neona, O Deus is ionis, yene ange, yene an. So, so ni mas i e theu, o anastas e gnegron, salom das i alleluia. Glory to the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Full now and ever unto the ages of ages, amen. Save us, O Son of God, risen from the dead. We sing to you, Alleluia. Only begotten Son and Logos of God, being immortal, you condescended for our salvation to take flesh from the holy Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary. And without change became man. Christ our God, you were crucified and conquered death by death. Being one of the Holy Trinity, glorified with the Father and with the Holy Spirit, Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. Commemorating our most holy, pure, most blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and all our life to Christ our God. To you. For you are a good God who loves mankind, and to you we send up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Amen. This is the day the Lord made. Let us greatly rejoice and be glad therein. You you destroyed death by your cross. You opened paradise to the robber. You turned the murdering women's lament into joy. And you commanded your apostles to preach that you rose. O Christ, God granting the world the great mercy. Sophia, O Proskini Soman, Ke Prosper Soman Christo, So Sonny Masiete, O Anastasek Necron.
and your disciples have held your glory as far as they were able, O Christ our God, so that when they would see you crucified, they might understand that your passion was deliberate and declare to the world that in truth you are the Father's radiant. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For you are holy, our God, and to you we send up glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. letter to the Corinthians. Let us be attentive. Brethren, I appeal to you by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ that all of you agree and that there be no dissensions among you, but that you be united in the same mind and the same judgment. 
For it has been reported to me by Chloe's people that there is quarreling among you, my brethren. What I mean is that each one of you says, I belong to Paul, or I belong to Apollos, or I belong to Cephas, or I belong to Christ. Is Christ divided? Was Paul crucified for you? Or were you baptized in the name of Paul? I thank God that I baptized none of you except Crispus and Gaius, lest anyone should say that you were baptized in my name. I did baptize also the household of Stephanas. Beyond that, I do not know whether I baptized anyone else. For Christ did not send me to baptize, but to preach the gospel, and not with eloquent wisdom, lest the cross of Christ be emptied of its power. Peace be with you, the reader. Et tukatama theon a yomagalia to anagnosma proscome doxasikiria doxasi tokero akino even o Isus polin ochlon ke esplatnis ti epaftus ke therapevsetus arostus afton opsias de genomenis prosilthon afto imathite aftu legondes erimos estino topos ke iora idi parilthen apolisontus ochlus in apeldon des istas comas, agoraso sin e aftis vromata, o de isus ipen aftis, u hrian e husin apeltin, dote aftis imis fagin, i de legusin afto, u hechomen o de imi pende artus ke dio ixias, o de ipe, Fere temi aftus ode, ke kelevsas tus ochlus anaklithine, epitus hortus ke lavontus pende artus, ke tus dio ichthias, anavlepsas iston uranon, evlogise, ke klasas edoke tis mathites tus artus, I de mathitetis ochlis, ke fagon pandes, ke hortastisan, ke iran to perisevon ton klasmaton, dodeca cofinus pliris, i de stiondes isan andres osi pendagis gili, Choris inekon ke pedion ke apteos inangasen o Isus tus mathitas aftu envine istoplion ke proagin afton istoperan eosu apolisitus oclus the reading is from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew. Let us be attentive. At that time, Jesus saw a great throng and he had compassion on them and healed their sick. And when it was evening, the disciples came to him and said, this is a lonely place and the day is now over. Send the crowds away to the villages and buy food for themselves. 
Jesus said, they need not go away. You give them something to eat. And they said to him, we have only five loaves and two fish. And he said, bring them to me. And then he ordered the crowds to sit down on the grass. And taking the five loaves and the two fish, he looked up to heaven and blessed and broke and gave loaves to the crowds. And they all ate and were satisfied. They took up 12 baskets full of the broken pieces left over. And those who ate were about 5,000 besides women and children. And then he made the disciples get into the boat and go before him to the other side while he dismissed the crowd. Peace be with you, the reader of the gospel. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Christ is in our midst. You may not have heard the first part of that gospel reading, but the first part is the key message, the key point of the message that I want to lift up for our consideration today from the gospel of Matthew. At that time, Jesus saw a great throng, a large group of people, and he had compassion on them and healed their sick. And then goes on the great event and the miraculous dividing of and feeding the 5,000, which likely was closer to 10,000, because the way the gospel says it's 5,000 men with also the women and the children, so probably 10,000 plus people, and making five loaves and two fish to feed all the multitude. But the key point here that I want to lift up is this word and this understanding of compassion that both our Lord exhibited, but also our disciples, or the disciples rather, exhibited compassion. Now, how can that be? Because it says that in response to the fact that there was a multitude, the disciples came to him and said, this is a lonely place and the day is now over. Send the crowds away to go into the villages and buy food for themselves. Doesn't sound very compassionate, but as we understand this gospel and as we apply it in our lives, they did have it to a point. They just did not understand deeply this compassionate response that our Lord showed and our Lord revealed to them. So I, I read the gospel in Greek and I do that often for various reasons, but one is to, so you can hear the words uh, and then explain them. And trust me, I don't always understand it either, but it's important for us to understand the way the gospel was written because it means something in terms of the word. Now there's a Greek word for compassion, symbonia, which means compassion, sympathy, charity, commiseration, a feeling, a, a good feeling for our, for our fellow humans. But then there's another word, and that's the word that was used in the gospel today, esplachnia, esplachnia, which means compassion, mercy, charity or love, mercifulness. And this is the word that's used. And the reason why 
this distinction is important is because compassion in this sense, in this deeper sense of the gospel, means literally to suffer together, to suffer together with one another, to feel motivated to relieve the suffering of others. Compassion is not the same as empathy or altruism, though they're related. And it's easy to use compassion and empathy in the same way. Empathy is feeling another person's pain, whereas compassion is taking action to relieve another person's pain, to relieve their suffering. It's active. Being empathetic is a good thing. It leads us, hopefully, to a compassionate response, to acting to help relieve the suffering of others. The disciples may have been empathetic, but our Lord showed compassion, and we know that He healed a great many that day. It was a long day for our Lord, and He Himself was suffering to a point, as only our Lord can suffer. He was sad because if we read the gospel, the, 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 the passages just before this, he had just been given the news that his cousin, John the Baptist, had been beheaded. He was sad about this, just as he was sad about his friend Lazarus dying. And yet, he had compassion upon the people. You see, we too may have our own sadness or sorrow or suffering or trials or tribulation. But we too, and this is the deep meaning of this gospel, we too should seek the presence of the Lord. The Lord commanded this great multitude to sit down, to stay and not go away. They remained in His presence. And of course, they were fed physically, but more importantly, they were fed spiritually. The Lord had compassion. He didn't just see their suffering or their hunger, their hunger for greater things. He did something, but He had the disciples do something, which was to go get the food. So that's the, the first point. The second as, as I just said, Jesus directed the disciples to act. Our Lord could have provided everything without even going through this, maybe what is considered a dramatic episode, right? He could have performed the miracle of, of turning water into wine and bringing the food there himself and do all these things, but he directed the disciples to do it, to act. That's the second important point because He does the same for us. He directs us to act, even in our own hunger, even in our own suffering. We are, by extension, called just as the disciples were called, to preach the gospel, to bring the good news of salvation to the world, to know and to live and to act upon the truth. That's not always popular, not always received well, but it is what we are called to do. And by doing so, that's true compassion. Compassion is not going and doing something for someone just because. It is taking the food, the truth of the gospel to feed them. Yes, we can help by serving at Austin Street and giving of our uh, resources to help others. This is not just important, it's essential. But there's more. There's more we can do. That's living our life in the truth, living our life as Christ Himself lived His life. As high of a calling as that is, and as much as we fall and fail daily doing so, that is being responsive to our Lord's words. Go, get them something to eat. Our Lord never sends anyone away. He didn't send these people away. And throughout the gospel, even those 
who he, it seems, was indifferent to, he did not send them away. He called them to his presence, whether it be by his words or by his actions or just by his presence. He called them to himself. He never sends anyone away. There's no need to go anywhere. There are plenty of resources around for us to alleviate our suffering or our sickness or our struggles. And we should avail ourselves of those things. But first and foremost, be in the Lord's presence. He is with you. He is with each and every one of us. We need to seek Him first in prayer, in the sacraments, in fellowship with one another. Always do this and still use these other means that we have. But don't ever, ever forget, seek the Lord first. He is with us. We should be in His presence as He is in our presence. In difficulties in life, do not turn away, do not turn away from Christ. Do not focus only on other solutions because the Lord is the primary source of our healing, of our safety, of our security, of the love we all need and seek. Always seek the Lord first. The disciples' faith and willingness to serve others challenged challenge them and it challenges us to act, to exercise our faith, to love the multitudes as Jesus did and as the disciples ultimately did as well because the Lord not only called them but he calls us. St. John Chrysostom says this about this miracle. In this miracle, Jesus was teaching them humility, temperance, and charity or love to be of like mind toward one another and to share all things in common. You heard from the epistle from Corinthians that Paul talks about and implores the church there not to have any dissensions, to be of one mind, to be unified. We can do so much more in this parish, in our families, in our lives if we are unified, if we have unity of faith and mind to be able to share that which we have been given, to offer back to God and to his people that which we have been given. In this miracle, the church also sees the Eucharist because of the obvious, hopefully the obvious connection. He offered, he gave thanks and he broke the bread and he offered and distributed five loaves and two fish to feed 10,000. We never run out of the Eucharist here. Even though there will only be one chalice today, I assure you, as the prayer that we read right after I do the consecration, the Lord is broken but not divided. It's ne He's never depleted. He is always in our presence, in the Eucharist, in the Holy Spirit, in our prayer. The Lord is always in our presence. We too should always seek His presence in our life. So may this miracle, this event, be an encouragement to us, be a challenge to us, to, to, be, to follow His example of being compassionate to others, to the person next to us, to our families, to our communities, to the world, to not only feel empathy for them, but to act and to do something in their lives. And also, don't ever, ever, ever think or act out of the presence of the Lord. Always seek His presence in your life. Amen. Again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O oh God, by thy grace. Lord have mercy. Wisdom. Again and oftentimes we fall down before you and we beseech you who are good and who love mankind, that looking down upon our petition, you will cleanse our souls and our bodies from every defilement of body and spirit, and grant that we may stand blameless and uncondemned before your holy altar. Grant also, God, progress in life faith and spiritual discernment to those who pray with us, grant that they may always worship you with fear and love, 
partake of your holy mysteries blamelessly and uncondemned, and become worthy of your heavenly kingdom. That always being protected by your dominion, we may send up glory to you, to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Let us pray to the Lord. us the ministry of this liturgical and blood of sacrifice. You only, Lord, our God, our rule over heavenly and earthly things. You who are born on the Kerbic throne, the Lord of, of the seraphim.
receive it. Receive. 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 to the ages of ages. Amen. Andonimon mnisti kirios o teos en di vasiliav tu pandote nin kei Case to say on us, Tone on Spirit descend upon you and the power of the Most High overshadow you. May the Lord God remember your holy diaconate and his kingdom always have the ages of ages. Amen. Amen. Let us complete our supplication to the Lord. Lord of mercy. For the precious gifts here presented, let us pray to the Lord. Lord Help us, save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, have mercy. May this whole day that it may be perfect, holy, and peaceful, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, O Lord. For an angel of peace, a faithful guide, a guardian of our souls and bodies, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. For the forgiveness and remission of our sins and transgressions, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, o Things that are good and profitable unto our souls and for peace in the world, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. That we may complete the remainder of our lives in peace and penitence, let us ask of the Lord. Grant this, o Lord. That the end of our lives may be Christian without pain blameless and peaceful, and for a good account at the fearful judgment seat of Christ, let us ask of the Lord. 
commemorating our most holy, pure, most blessed, and glorious Lady, the Theotokos, and ever Virgin Mary, with all the saints, let us commend ourselves and one another and all our life to Christ our God. To you, Lord. Through the compassion of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed, together with your holy, good, and life-giving Spirit, now and ever, to the ages of ages. With all and to your spirit. Let us love one another that with one mind we may confess. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, the Trinity. doors, the doors in wisdom, let us be attentive. I believe in Sclavo Isana Theon, Pater Pandocratra, Spitinora Nuke Is Raton de Pandon Ke Oraton, Ke Isana Kirion Isun Christon, Tonion to the U to Mono Yeni, Tonek to Patros Yeni Tenda Propandon Toneonon, Fos Ecotos Theon Alitinu, Ecayu Alitinu, Yeni Tenda Upi Tenda, Homo usi on to patris, diu ta panda e geneto, ton di mastus antropus, ke diatini meteran sotirian, katel thonda ek turan no, ke sarko thenda ek pneumatos aiu, ke maries tis partenu, ke nantropis anda, stavro thenda te iperimon, epipondiu pilatu, ke pathonda ke ta thenda, ke anastanda tin triti e mera katats grafas, ke anal thonda istus aranus, Kei katex homenon ek vexion tu patros, Kei palin er homenon metadoxis, Krine zondas ke nekrus, Utis vasilias u keste telos, Kei sto pnevma to aion, to kirion, to zopion, To ek tu patros ek pore vomenon, To sin patri ke jo sin proskinumenon, Kei sin doxa zomenon, to la lis andiato profiton, Ismian aien katholikin, ke apostolikin eklisian, Homologo em baptisma is afes in amartion, pros da coa nastas in necron, que zo indu melendos eonos, amin. I believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all ages, light of light, true God of true God, begotten, not created, of one essence with the Father, through whom all things were made, who for us and for our salvation came down from the heavens and was incarnate by the Holy Spirit and the Virgin Mary and became man, crucified for us under Pontius Pilate. He suffered and was buried, rising on the third day according to the Scriptures, and ascending into the heavens. He is seated at the right hand of the Father, and coming, coming again, again in glory, glory to judge the living and the dead, and the dead. his Holy kingdom Holy shall have no end. And in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father, who together with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who spoke through the prophets, in one holy Catholic and apostolic church, I acknowledge one baptism for the remission of sins, I expect the resurrection of the dead, and the life of the age to come. Amen. Let us stand to right, let us stand with all, let us attend, that we may present the holy offering in peace. O mercy of peace, a sacrifice of praise. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God the Father and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. On os comentas cardias, let us lift up our hearts. We lift them up unto the Lord. 
Christi somento querido. Let us give thanks unto the Lord. It is proper and right. Singing the victorious hymn, shouting out, proclaiming, and saying, received bread in his holy and pure and blameless hands, giving thanks and blessings, sanctifying, breaking. He gave it to his holy disciples and apostles, saying, Lavete, fagnete, tuto moestito soma, to iperimon glomenon is alphas in a receiving. This is my body, which is broken for you, for the remission of sins. Amen. Pietex of tu pandes tu to estito emamu, to tis kenisti athikis, to iperimon ke balone kinomenon is afficina martion, drink of this all of you, this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many, for the remission of sins. We of your own we offer to you in all and for all we, we praise you we bless you we thank you Lord and we thank you our God then we offer this rational blood for us and we ask and pray beseech you send down your Holy Spirit upon us and upon these gifts you're presented O oh God have mercy upon me and save me the sinner to those who last O God have mercy upon me and save me the sinner we and make this bread the precious body of your Christ. Amen. Master, bless the Holy Ghost. Make this cup the precious blood of your Amen. Christ. Master, bless both the Holy Ghost. Changing them by your Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 Exeretos tis panagia sacrando e perevlo imenis en loxo de spinissimo teo toco que a parceno marias.
Among the first, remember, Lord, our Archbishop Isaiah, whom you have granted to serve your holy churches in peace. Keep him safe, honorable, and healthy with length of days, rightly teaching the word of your truth. And all of those whom each of us has in mind, and all your people. And all your that with one mouth and one heart we may glorify and praise your all-honored and magnificent name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit now and ever to the ages of ages. Amen. And the mercies of the great God and our Savior Jesus Christ will be with you all. And with your spirit. Having commemorated all the saints again and again in peace, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. For these precious gifts which have been offered and sanctified, let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. That our merciful God, who hath received them on his holy and celestial and invisible altar, unto a sin of spiritual fragrance, may send down upon us divine grace and the gift of the Holy Spirit. Let us pray. Lord, have mercy. Having asked for the unity of the faith and the communion of the Holy Spirit, let us commend ourselves and one another and all our life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. Que cataxios son imas despotam, et aparicias a catacritos tulman epicalices et on eburanion teon patera que legin. Paterimon, ondis radis, ayas dito tonomasu, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Peace. Be with all and with your spirit. Let us bow our heads unto the Lord. To you, o Lord. Through the grace and compassion and love for mankind of your only begotten Son, with whom you are blessed together with your all holy good and life-giving spirit now and ever to the ages of ages. Amen. Here is Lord Jesus Christ, your God, from your holy dwelling place and from the throne of glory of your kingdom. Come to sanctify us for you who are enthroned on high with the Father and also invisibly present here with us. And deem it worthy that by your mighty hand your pure body and precious blood may be given to us and that to us it may be given to all the people. O God, have mercy upon me and save me. The sinner of Theos, the last, the team of the law, the last man. O oh God, have mercy upon me and save me, the sinner. Post command. Holy things for the holy Tayati Sais. One is holy, one is Lord Jesus Christ, the glory of God the Father. Amen. Remember, 
God has broken the ship and those who are not divided. Whichever you can never defeat them, but thanks for those who partake. that thou art verily the Christ, the Son of the living God, who didst come into the world to save sinners, of whom I am the first. Also I believe that this is thy sacred body, and this thy precious blood. Therefore I pray to thee, have mercy on me and pardon my transgressions, voluntary and involuntary, in word and deed, both known and unknown, and make me worthy to partake of thy sacred mysteries unto the remission of sins, and unto life eternal. Amen. Behold, I approach for holy communion. O Creator, burn me not as I partake, for Thou art fire which burns the unworthy. Wherefore do Thou cleanse me from every stain? Receive me today, O Son of God, as a partaker of Thy mystical feast, for I will not speak the mystery to Thine enemies. I will not kiss Thee as did Judas, but as the thief I will confess Thee. Lord, remember me when Thou comest into Thy kingdom. Tremble, O mortal, beholding the divine blood, for it is a lighted coal burning the unworthy. It is God's body and deifieth and nourisheth me. It deifieth my soul and wondrously nourisheth my mind. Thou hast smitten me with yearning, O Christ, and with the divine love thou hast changed me. But do thou burn away with spiritual fire my sins and make me worthy to be filled with the joy of thee, that rejoicing in thy goodness I may magnify thy two presences. Into the magnificence of thy saints, how shall I, the unworthy, enter? For should I also dare to enter the festal chamber? My robe betrays me, for it is not a festal garment, and I shall be bound and cast out by the angels. Cleanse my soul, O Lord, from pollution, and by thy compassion save me. O merciful Master, Lord Jesus Christ, my God, let not these holy gifts be unto me for judgment through my unworthiness but rather for the purification and sanctification of my soul and body, and as the nurse of the life in the kingdom to come. For it is good for me to cleave unto God, and to place in the Lord hope of my salvation. Receive me today, O Son of God, as a partaker of thy mystical feast, for I will not speak the mystery to thine enemies. I will not kiss thee as did Judas, but as the thief I will confess thee. Lord, remember me when thou comest into thy kingdom. Behold, I again approach Christ, our mortal King, our Master, and part of the unworthy presence of the Most High Christ. I mean, He can draw near. Behold, I approach our mortal King and God, Master, give me off the mouth of the unworthy deacons, the precious small holy body of our Lord.
again, in just a few moments, you'll be called forward to receive the body and blood of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Those of you who are Orthodox Christians and prepared may receive. If you are not, you may come forward for a blessing. There is one chalice today, so again, I'll start over on my left, then to my right, and then to the center. If you need to, please feel free to sit during communion. I know it will be a, a bit long, so please feel free to sit if you need to. Thank you. with the fear of God, with faith and love, draw near. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
servant of God? So 
children died, Ksenia received the most precious and pure body and blood of the Lord Jesus Christ, Bishop of the Lord. The children of God, Lord of the Good girl, uh, she's like 
Father and me, the servant of God. God, I'm the servant of God.
Anastasia received Precious and pure by servant of God. Katarina. She's the most precious and pure by God. Blessing the Lord be with you always on the age of ages. Amen. Servant of God, the friend, she's the most precious and pure by blood. Lord, Jesus Christ. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord for he is good for his mercy and forever. To the God of gods, for his mercy and forever forever thanks unto the Lord of lords, for his mercy and forever Israel out of the midst of them, 
for his mercy and all forever alleluia. With a strong hand and lofty arm, for his mercy and all forever alleluia. To him that divided the race to part, for his mercy and torment, forever alleluia. And when Israel through the midst they run, for his mercy and torment, forever alleluia. And overthrew Pharaoh and his hosts in the Red Sea, for his mercy and torment, forever alleluia. To him that led his people through the wilderness, for his mercy and torment, forever alleluia. To him that smote the king for his mercy and glory, forever alleluia. He slew mighty kings for his mercy and glory, forever alleluia. Say on King of the Amorites for his mercy. The servant of God of Theos is Forever Alleluia, an inheritance for Israel is servant, for his mercy and torment, forever Alleluia, for in our humiliation the Lord remembered us, for his mercy and torment. Forever, Alleluia, and redeemed us from our enemies, for His mercy and glory, forever, Alleluia, He that giveth food to all flesh, for His mercy and glory, forever, Alleluia. Or give thanks unto the God of heaven for his mercy and torment forever. Amen. Blessing, blessing, the servant of God, charity,
all. The servant of God sees the most precious appear by and by Jesus Christ. your people and bless your inheritance. 
Ιδωμέν το φως το αληθινόν, ελάβομεν πνεύμα επουράνιον, εύρωμεν πίστην αληθήν, αδιέρετον τριάδα προσκυνούντες, αυτή γαρή μας έσωσε. receive the heavenly spirit we have found the true faith worshiping the undivided trinity for the trinity has saved us your glory be above all the earth be exalted O god above the heavens your glory be above all the earth Blessed is our God. <laughs> Always, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Let's so arise, having partaken of the divine, holy, pure, immortal, heavenly, life-giving, and awesome mysteries of Christ. Worthily let us give thanks unto the Lord. Lord Help us, mercy. save us, have mercy on us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord of mercy. Having asked that this, the Lord that this whole day may be perfect, holy, peaceful, and sinless, let us commend ourselves and one another and all our life to Christ our God. To you, O Lord. We thank you, Master, who loves mankind, benefactor of our souls, that you have made us worthy also in this day of your heavenly and immortal mysteries. Make our path straight, establish us all in your fear, guard our life, and make our steps safe through the prayers and supplications of the glorious Theotokos and ever Virgin Mary and of all your saints. For you are sanctification, and to you we send up glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Let us depart in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. You who bless those who bless you, Lord, who sanctify those who put their trust in you, save your people and bless your inheritance, preserve the fullness of your church, sanctify those who love the beauty of your house, Glorify them in return by your divine power and do not forsake us who hope in you. Grant peace to your world, to your churches, to your clergy, to our civil authorities, to the armed forces, and to all your people. For every good giving and every perfect gift is from above and comes down from you, the Father of lights. And to you we send up glory and thanksgiving and worship. To the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and to the ages of ages. Christ our God, beautiful, fill our hearts with joy and Let us pray to the Lord. Lord have mercy. The blessing of the Lord and his mercy come upon you through his divine grace and love for mankind, always, now, and ever, and to the ages of ages. Amen. Glory to God. Glory to you, O God, our hope. Glory to you. Glory to the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and forever and to the ages of ages. Amen. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Holy Father, give the blessing. May he who has risen from the dead, Christ, our true God, through the intercession of his all-pure and all-blameless Holy Mother, by the power of the precious and life-giving cross, through the protection of the honorable heavenly bodily powers, through the supplications of the honorable glorious prophet, forerunner, Baptist John, the holy, glorious, and all praise for the apostles, 
of our Holy Fathers among the Saints, the great hierarchs and ecumenical teachers of our Father among the Saints, John Chrysostom, Archbishop of Constantinople of the Holy Glorious and Victorious Martyrs, of our Venerable and God-bearing Fathers of the Holy and Righteous Ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the Saints, have mercy on us and save us, for He is good and loves mankind. Through the prayers of our Holy Fathers, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. May the Holy Trinity protect and keep you always. Amen. Good morning to all. Please be seated. Good morning again to all, and we welcome all visitors here today. Please join us in the Community Center for Fellowship and Coffee. And if you didn't have the opportunity, you can give your information to our welcome ministry. This week, uh, on August 1st, our Panayas fast begins. We'll have Paraklisi service every day. So on odd days, uh, it's at 11 a.m., and on even days, it's at 6 p.m. Just look at your bulletin you'll get the times, but it'll be every day, except of course from Saturday, for Saturday uh, and Sunday. Next Sunday is the Feast of the Transfiguration, the way the calendar works. We'll celebrate that feast on a Sunday, so uh, please be aware of that, and you may want to uh, yourself go seek uh, search information so you can learn about this wonderful feast of our Church of the Transfiguration of our Lord. Uh, the bulletin's got one error in it. It says the welcome ministry meeting is next Sunday. It's actually this Sunday in the Alpha Room, as I understand it. So if you're interested in joining our welcome ministry, please uh, uh, proceed over there after you receive on uh, This is also Sunday, uh, July 30th, is designated by our Assembly of Bishops as Orthodox Christian Prison Ministry Awareness Day. There's some information in the bulletin. You can go learn a little bit more about uh, the prison ministry of our Archdiocese, of our Assembly of Bishops. It's a pan-Orthodox ministry. And sadly, of course, we have uh, individuals that, we, that uh, uh, are members or members of members of our community that are incarcerated, and myself and others go uh, to minister to them. And we always appreciate your support in the form of prayer for all who are incarcerated, but also to support this ministry so we can bring materials to them. Uh, there's quite an active ministry there. And uh, so if you can go seek that out in the bulletin and if you're able to support, there is a, a basket that's in the narthex that will be there as you leave. If you would like to make any donations towards that, it'll be directed to the Orthodox Christian Prison Ministry um, organization. And I thank you for that. Finally, uh, some of you know this, uh, it happened a week ago today, His Eminence Metropolitan Isaiah fell at home uh, and he broke his hip. He had surgery this week on Tuesday. Uh, as, as you can understand, it's challenging enough to, um, to recover from that kind of injury, but at 93, uh, it's even more challenging. And uh, he is recovering, but it's going to be a long road for him. And, you know, who knows exactly how he'll be after he does recover in terms of his activity. More information uh, will pass along to you as we know. But what I'd like to ask for you to do, you know, there's so many things that happen uh, in, in, our, in our church uh, 
uh, administration, hierarchy, and so on and so forth, and we're all quick to have our opinions on things, and even sometimes we may write letters to express our opinions, whether it's satisfaction or dissatisfaction. Uh, this would be a nice time to write a good letter to His Eminence in the Metropolis, because as a hierarch, they receive all sorts of letters. Uh, and it'd be nice if you have, if you're so inclined to send a letter to the Metropolis of encouragement, support, and prayer for His Eminence and His decade-long, decades-long ministry in our metropolis and in the archdiocese. And I'll close with this. When we, when we have the consecration in every liturgy, we kneel, we get up, you hear me read a petition, and it's for our hierarchs. And in this case, I say, among the first, Lord, remember, O Lord, our Archbishop Isaiah, whom you have granted to serve your holy churches in peace. Keep him, keep him safe, keep him honorable, healthy with length of days, rightly teaching the word of your truth. That is what we pray for our hierarchs. That is what their ministry is, to rightly divide, as we say, the word of truth, to be the shepherds for all of us as clergy and laity alike. So let us pray for our Archbishop and Metropolitan Isaiah for his recovery, for his health, for his safety, so that he can continue even in his final days on this earth and even afterwards to pray for us and to teach us, to, to guide us in all truth. So we pray for our, His Eminence Archbishop uh, Metropolitan Isaiah. Have a blessed week. You may come forward for Andidro. Hey!